so here we will discuss about uh, types of stamens very first character of stamens type of stamens is shown here is about the okay first I will just select pointer option and then I will go for to select highlighter yeah now it's clear so in first picture you can see that the there are uh, different num there are several numbers of stamens and all these stamens they are fused together by their uh, filaments while uh, the anthers are free you can see all these anthers are free when all the filaments are together in a single flower and the anthers they are forming a single bundle so these kind of stamens they are known as monoadelphous stamens the second diagram if you see here you can see that uh, nine stamens one two three four and in the back there is fifth sixth seventh eighth and nine stamens is there so all these nine stamens they are fused together in a one bundle and one of the stamen is separated so in this diagram we can see that there are two bundles in one bundle nine stamens are fused together and one stamen is separate this kind of arrangement of stamens is known as diadelphous stamens and this kind of diadelphous uh, stamens we can find in Fabesi family so an older name for Fabesi family is leguminosi that is uh, Bazilla family in third diagram we can see that there are one two three and four stamens but if you see the two stamens are shorter one and two stamens are longer one four stamens uh, in two plus two condition two plus two so this kind of arrangement of stamens is known as di dynamus di dynamus in fourth diagram sorry this uh, uh, what will be an example for di dynamus an example for di dynamus these kind of stamens we can find in lemiaceae family lemiaceae and uh, the new name for uh, this family is family lemiaceae while, while uh, older name was lebiati uh, mint family nana family in fourth diagram we can see that uh, there are how many stamens one two three four five and six stamens are there two stamens are short and four stamens are long so if we write it four long stamens and two short stamens this kind of arrangement is known as tetradynamous tetradynamous stamens they can be found in crucifer uh, brassica family some of some of these uh, we, generally we can find in brassicaceae members brassicaceae is a khardal uh, family mustard family in fifth diagram we will see that there are several numerous stamens in a flower one of these uh, bundles is this one 
and then there is second bundle then there is third bundle so there are more than three bundles so the stamens they are united into more than two bundles when there are more than two bundles this kind of arrangement of stamens is known as polyadelphous stamens and an example for these polyadelphous stamens it may be salvia now look at number 6 diagram if we compare this sixth diagram with second one and with the first diagram so what will be the difference between them the difference is in these two diagrams the filaments are connected they are fused together while anthers all these anthers they are free but in that case in sixth diagram we can see that the filaments all these filaments they are separated and the anthers all these anthers they are fused together when these anthers they are fused together this kind of arrangement is known as syngenesious syngenesious so uh, in syngenesious filaments are free while anthers they are fused together thank you very much